Hey everyone, Techni here with a review on a product that I think is just absolutely, hands down, amazing, and we all should have them. Did I just finish the review right there? Like, why even watch the rest, right? But no, seriously, this thing is absolutely awesome. It's the Sound Blaster X G6 Gaming DAC in Biamp. Biamp, which we'll get into later right there. But this guy can be used on every single platform, and I tested them all of them from Mac to Nintendo Switch, Xbox X, PlayStation 4 Pro, PC, listening to music, editing videos, playing games. I mean, I test these things because it was just that good. I wanted to like try to dig to say like, okay, there's not many things I've ever tested that are that good, but I couldn't find anything bad about this thing. It is that good. All right, so inside your box, you're gonna get your little DAC amp right here. They give you some paperwork right here, which is honestly pretty confusing. Just go to their website and look at it that way. Uh, they give you a USB cable right here and then an optical cable as well. All right, so enough jibber jabber, right? Let's go on and start talking about this G6 right here. Now we are all no strangers to amps and DACs, right? We all know headsets that use them, but this thing really blows all of them out of the water. Every single amp or DAC I've used before, this thing just smushes them all. And the number one highlight of this, like I stated in the beginning, is you can use it on every single platform. All of them. All right, so let's start off by looking at some of our connections and controls on the G6 here. As you can see, we have a headphone port here, microphone port, volume wheel. On the side over here, we have scout mode, SBX, and our gain high and low. Some of the stuff gonna be adjusted within the software, which I'll show you here shortly as well. Back here, you're gonna have some light indicators to show your mic, if you got your surround sound active, and your power, and kind of which mode you're in right there. Now on the back side, as you can see, we have optical in and out, and then line in and out. So it's pretty cool. You can plug in your optical right there, or just a regular 3.5. And then we have our USB back here for our power. Now as far as the unit itself, it is pretty much all plastic. I mean, our connections are metal obviously right there our volume wheel is nice uh, brushed metal on the bottom we have a nice soft touch kind of rubber feel and it doesn't slide around whenever you're moving it on your desk if you're on a mouse pad or a hard surface it doesn't slide around on you but again as far as the basic unit itself it is all plastic minus those few spots I just showed you but all right again we'll power it up by plugging it in into the back right here by USB and there's no power button on it once you plug it in it's powered up as you can see our volume wheels lighten up right there and then we have the little RGB uh, logo right up top here which again can be edited in the software which I'll show you but again if we can see right here our volume wheel is white so whenever you turn it down you see it gets dimmer and we turn it up a little bit more it's gonna brighten up right there I have lights in the background so it's not that visual but if it's on your desk in a dark area Area, you really notice it there you go you can see it's cranked right now and it's pretty bright and again when you turn it down it gets dimmer now if you hold this button in you're gonna get into your mic controls right there you'll see it'll turn red and again same deal crank it up and it'll brighten up crank it down and it will get dim right there so again hold the button in and you'll get to your mic controls hold it in again and bam you're back to your volume control all right as far as our controls on the side as we talked about earlier with the scout mode and the SBX to activate them just press them in as you can see it'll show that one active you want to switch to the other one bam that one's active there to turn it off just press the button in again and it'll turn off right there just get your basic regular sound all right so we are now in the sound blaster connect software right here and real quick while I'm going through showing you this I just want to let you know that I have my mic plugged into the sound blaster right now and it's coming through there now of course it'll vary between headset and headset whatever you're using but again just so you kind of got a uh, example of the clarity of it coming through the sound blaster right here anyways in the dashboard here you have quick options right up here your smart volume bass crystallizer stuff like that some surround options your Dolby and whatnot voice clarity and some color adjustment right here over here you just have some presets uh, you know I'm, I'm really not a big fan of any presets uh, so I recommend you not using them kind of get in here and kind of tweak it to your liking volume control right down here let you know what effect you have active as you can see I have none right now but uh, again just a quick option right here pop over here to sound and this is where you start getting all the goodies right your surround a lot of that stuff we just saw on the dashboard there you get you some equalizer right here adjust your scout mode your adobe right there and then some filters again a lot of stuff can seem uh, intimidating i honestly haven't dabbled with much of it at all but it's kind of nice to have it there um voice as far as your voice recording right here which i can adjust this right now it'll change right there your mic monitoring um some clarity options and then some uh, morph right there if you want to change those let me see if i can do one right now uh emo <laughs> let's put on robot let me see um is, is it active do i sound like a robot right now i'm not too sure let's uh, uh, try a brute. Do I sound like a brute? I don't, I don't know if that's active. Nah, 
There we go. Let's just put it right there. I'm not too sure if that worked. It's my first time chestnut, so we'll see right here. Um, lighting. Let me see. Let's get down here to lighting. All it's going to adjust is this little X right here on the back. And you got your uh, little uh, effects right here. You can turn lighting just straight up off if you don't want it. Ah, it's just a little touch right there, I guess. Pick your color if you want. So that's kind of cool. And then set up right down here. You can get your 5.1, 7.1. Pick your speakers and stuff and get some mixer on right there. Uh, now, some of you are probably wondering, oh, hey, man, does surround sound sound a lot better with something like this, an external uh, amp and DAC, you know? And you're looking at the 5.1, 7.1. I, I got to be honest with you, no, it really doesn't. Uh, again, this thing might create the effect of surround sound, but it's still coming out of uh, headphones, right? So it's really just the same fake kind of surround sound that you get with any other headset. No, it does not sound like true surround sound. You get that distant feel and the highs kick high and everything, but no, not at all does it sound like true surround sound. Now again, as I stated before, I tested this across every device. Again, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, the Mac even, PC and Xbox. Some of you might be wondering about mobile and honestly just straight there I think this is unnecessary for mobile. Now a couple things I want to talk about before we start talking about each device here because honestly uh, straight out there it was pretty much the exact same across every device there. Now I tested them with multiple headsets by the way but as far as my preferred headset um, I tested them across every single device with that headset with these same settings and I got the same output on each of them. So we're not really gonna speak about sound per device, but more or less connection per device. And talking to sound per each device right there, uh, there are so many technical specs and numbers within these things. As we all know with amps, I mean, heck, a lot of headsets got so many just absolutely a ridiculous amount of numbers, right? But me personally, as just a basic consumer, I want to know, hey, is it going to sound good? What is it going to prove? You know, and is it a value? Is it worth me getting? The first thing I want to touch on is that bi amp that we talked about in the beginning right there. And what this guy does is it amplifies each side of your headset right there. Not just an amp going bam straight to the entire headset right there. It's going to amp each side. So if you're just getting, I don't know, let's say shots and a whole bunch of action going on this side of the field, whatever you got playing, you know, that's where it's going to amplify all of that. You know what I mean? And then same way, or if you got it going on both sides, it's going to amplify both of them, but you're getting all that power to each ear right there. And let me tell you what, it's a lot. And honestly, when I say it's a lot, it is an absolute just ear bleeding amount. I could barely ever crank this thing up above say 30, maybe 40 just to test it. I did take the headset off and uh, adjust the volume and crank it up, but it started making my headset go, you know, like you hear those, uh, you know, bass in the trunk and it just rattles. It just sounds horrible, but it's just rattling. And I got scared it was going to blow my speakers out of my uh, uh, headset right there. So you kind of look at two ways of that right there. It's like, okay, number one, uh, be careful with your hearing because you can crank this thing up and it'll just Oh man, it'll make your eyes come out of your head. It is that loud, like no exaggeration. And that's on every device again. It gets that loud. But number two, which you just kind of want to watch out for and just be careful about is take care of your headphones as well, you know, because again, you can crank this thing up and uh, I think it'll just tear up number one, your ears and then your headphones, it gets that loud. So anyways, talking about the SBX in that scout mode right there, the SBX, uh, what it sounds like is pretty much just a basic amp and it amplifies the sound right there. So you got your standard uh, sound stage, which again, we can adjust in the software right there. And then it'll just kind of amplify that up and kind of pull everything out a little bit more. Sounds really, really cool. Now, when you get into the scout mode, this is really neat. A lot of people might be thinking, oh, scout mode, what's well, like this massive surround sound, uh, you know, type of deal. But I don't know what it is. It's not like the surround sound deal. It's just, wow, it was just maybe the coolest thing I've heard. It's just really cool. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield, as some of you just know. And I talk about uh, the uniform shuffling sometimes in some of these headsets I've been using and whatnot. But this one was like, oh my lord. It was just so strange. It felt like you were there. I, I, I couldn't imagine being there, but you, you get my point, right? You felt like you were within the game. You felt the shuffling. You, you heard the grass moving. You heard just every little thing, the detail of him pulling out a clip and then putting it in rather than just putting it in. Like it got weird sometimes because you heard things you'd never heard in a game. Now, the only thing I can really can compare it to that really just kind of brought it out that much as I'm talking about like you're hearing different things in games with this is me probably going to 1440p from 1080p, if, if that makes sense, right? And that's probably the two things that we all care about, right? Is our visuals in our game and then our sound, right? Peripherals and all this other stuff, that kind of comes down the road. Like sure, we like keyboards, mice, controllers, all that, right? But the visuals and the sound are our two primary goals right there, right? 
And again, this brought out so much. Again, the best way to compare it is like 1440p or 4K. If you've watched 1080p and then you've moved up to there, it's a drastic difference. It really is. And that's what this is. It is just absolutely amazing. I can't put it in words or put it in video here. I'm probably just going in circles right now. And you're like, dude, you're already saying that. But again, it's that good. Now, one other thing I want to kind of chime in on talking about that uh, scout mode right there, because again, it was just such a fun experience. I listen to a lot of music. That's honestly my number one passion is music. And I just love just having a great experience, not this muffled, jumbled sound. I want to feel like I'm at the show if I'm listening to something live or I want it to sound like uh, the artist intended to be with the recording, right? And that's what you get with this thing. You don't have any of the effects on it. You listen to just a basic track or whatever, you know, it sounds just like that. You have all of the details. I mean, it is awesome. But the really cool thing, talking about that scout mode again, like I was watching some live shows um, on YouTube or whatnot of some artists and whatnot. And when I put in that scout mode, it really felt like you were there again. Just like talking about the game. It was just incredibly strange because you got like, I don't want to say the echo of the hall or, or the club or whatever, you know, but I, I can't put it into words. It seriously sounded like I was sitting in front of the stage though. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about per device and kind of hook up and stuff. So anyways, we'll start with the PlayStation 4 here. Now you can plug this guy straight in USB, just like with PC as well. You take it, plug it into the, uh, the console or your PC, bam, plug your headset in and you're done. Now you do have another way to control this on the PS4 right there. You can take the device, plug it right into a wall charger. I use a little Apple one here, plug it into the wall and then take your optical from the PlayStation and plug it into the device here. Now, of course, that's only if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro or an older PlayStation. If you have a Slim, it does not have optical, so you won't be able to do that uh, method right there. Uh, and you also lose the mic control uh, going that way. It registers, your PlayStation doesn't register you having a mic if you're plugged in just through the optical right there. But honestly, plugging it in through the optical, I was kind of expecting like this massive sound boost or this quality increase. I didn't notice a single difference, honestly. So I just recommend you going straight, bam, USB, and plug your headset into it. Simple, easy, and you're set. All right, so now let's go and talk about it with the Switch. And yeah, I have the Switch controller out here and not the portable mode. You can plug it in with the portable mode, but you really don't get the benefits out of it, the nice volume or, or the effects and stuff like that, right? Plus, you got to plug it into wall. Then you got this deal. Then you got your Switch over here. It's just... It's not portable then, you know what I mean? But anyways, as far as the Switch right here, we're gonna connect it up just like the PlayStation. Take your USB, bam, plug it into the dock, take your headset, plug it into here. You'll get your controls up here and everything, your simple mute button and all that stuff. You still get your effects on the side right here, and it sounds fantastic. Again, it sounds just as good while you're on a PlayStation as far as the Switch. All right, so next up, let's go and talk about Xbox. And this is where things get a little bit trickier, I guess if we say, not tricky, but just a little bit different from the other two right there. We all know Xbox is a picky pants plug in uh, USB headsets or control box amps or whatever into the console right there, you know what I mean? So the way you bypass that here is again, we kinda go the option of the optical on the Switch right there. You take a deal and you plug it into the wall for your power, which will power this up then you can take your optical and plug it into the back of the xbox right there and then again you get your controls with your volume and your effects and everything like that but again you don't take the device and plug it straight into your xbox plug the power the device up the g6 through a wall power outlet right there and then plug your optical in for Xbox and then you get all your controls. And why I just want you to be aware of that method right there, and that's how they tell you to hook it up in the manual as well. Manual can get a little confusing to be honest with you. But anyways, I just wanna make sure that's very clear as far as Xbox, cause you can take this and plug the USB into the Xbox and get sound out of it and get it to work. You won't have your controls or your effects or anything like that, right? I guess the Xbox is blocking that stuff, but you still get your sound out of it. And you're not gonna see any improvements. It's gonna sound like you're plugged straight up into the controller right there. So again, go in Xbox, make sure you're powered up through the wall, and then you have your optical going into the Xbox right there, and that's when it's going to make your ears bleed. Now, it also works on Apple products as well. I use it on a MacBook Pro and an iMac right there, and it's really cool because you get your volume control right there, but it actually controls it on the screen of the Apple through that little uh, volume wheel right there. And again, you get that great sound. You just pretty much go straight uh, USB into your uh, Apple product, and then your headset out of it. Again, just as simple as the Switch and the uh, PlayStation right Right there but it's really cool because it works perfect on it all right and now as far as pc and usually this is where i would say oh hey it sounds the best or this is where the product's the best you know usually going from headset reviews talking on pc but honestly it sounded fantastic across every single device. On PC, sure, you get the software right at the flick of the hand where you can adjust it and tweak it and bend the sound to your liking. But honestly, 
I really don't dabble with that much. Straight out the box, you have your effects and your volume right there and you can kind of tweak it. So no, it's not better on one device than the other. It's fantastic across everything. And that is honestly where this thing shines and why I'm praising it so much and why I'm telling you, you need one. Because again, you can use it on every device. This isn't the Astros where you can just, you gotta buy the PlayStation, then you gotta buy the Xbox version. It's not the Arctic's Pro where you have to just use them on PlayStation or tweak them around to make them work on this. Again, it works on every single device and it sounds amazing on every device. That's why I think it's a fantastic value. Sure, this deal is around 140 bucks, I believe, but it's worth it because again, you can use it on everything and just plug whatever headphone you have into this. You don't have to buy all this other deal for this platform, that platform, and that platform. This is what you need. Now, one other thing, while I'm over here talking about, hey, you can use it on any device and it's that fantastic across every device. One thing I wanna let you know is, I don't think I would recommend every headphone for this. Again, say you just have the basic, you know, $30 Turtle Beaches or, or whatever, even, I'll even go down to like, say the Arctic 3 or something, because I tested this on a range of headsets from SteelSeries, uh, Logitech's HyperX, Audio Technicas, all sorts with different frequency ranges and everything. But anyways, when I got into the basic, uh, well, your average headset, which is uh, 20 to 20,000 uh, hertz right there, you know, those ones really didn't, they made them louder, okay? If that's what you're looking for to be louder, you got it, right? But where it really shined is when you got headsets with really high frequency, when you get into that high res, kind of like the Arctic's Pros we talked about before, you know what I mean? That's where this thing really just kind of pushes it. A lot of people might be into those like, uh, what do you call, ba barometric, barometric, I don't know how to say the, the name right there, the ninja headphones, you know? But uh, those are the kind of headphones you're gonna get into with these. They got some gaming headsets with a very high frequency range. I tested them with a lot of HyperX. This thing really amped up HyperXs and really made them sound good. But again, when you get into those basic, uh, I don't wanna say cheaper, because they're good headsets, but the lower end, the 20 uh, to 20 uh, headphone frequency range right there, I feel like it just really just amped up the volume and gave you that kind of mid-range stage and just made it louder, which wasn't the best experience, to be honest with you. So again, I kind of recommend you having a better set of headphones to actually kind of pair up with this guy. Yes, if you're just looking for higher volume, especially for PlayStation 4, because we all know PlayStation 4 3.5 is just absolutely garbage, it's incredibly low. So if you're just looking for the volume increase, yes, this will give it to you. But while you have this thing, don't just get that volume increase. Get the sound stage increase and just bring everything to life, because I'm telling you what, you're not gonna regret it. Now, I know a lot of us out there are thinking, 140 bucks, man, that's a little bit steep for this little box here. Don't get me wrong, I was in your shoes as well, right? 140 bucks, I'm like, ah, man, come on, is that really necessary you know what I mean and as far as the performance and the quality of the performance you're getting out of it and the versatility of it again it's just such a bang for your buck it's such a fantastic value again going every single device right there I bring it back to like the Astros and stuff like that you talk 200 250 dollar headsets whatever they may be Arctic's Pros $200 headsets right talking 150 bucks here and you can you, you just play with a variety of headphones out there and plug it in here and control it rather than having to buy an Astro for this and an Astro for that, or a Steel Series for this, and a Steel Series for that, you know what I mean? You have this box right here, and just play with headphones, whether it be gaming headsets or, or high-end studio headsets. Plug them in here, and you're gonna really be able to power them and get that experience right there. And one last thing right here, I just wanna let you guys know that I tested this um, with a variety of headphones, as I stated before, but I had one that was just absolutely phenomenal, just jaw-dropping, just perfect across the board with this device, even by itself, it was that good. And again, this combo uh, with this device and this other headset review that I have coming soon is hands down the best uh, combo or headset deal that I have tested yet. And it's just that good, you know, it is that good. So make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that bell so you can catch that one right there because it is just phenomenal again on every single device this combo that I'm going to show you so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because that one will be coming soon but hey everyone thank you so much for stopping by and watch this one sorry if it's a little confused or I was a little bit all over the place because this is one uh like I said it can be a little confusing because there's so much packed into it and so much versatility with it so I might have bounced around a little bit but hey I highly appreciate you stopping by and watch this one I hope I was able to help you out a little bit please let me know down in the comments if you use this guy or if you're looking at picking it up or if you do pick it up and let me know what you're thinking about it because again you're gonna love it I mean you're gonna thank me later like seriously I put my name all over this deal right here but again thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one I do highly highly appreciate it if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos hey, I hope to catch you in the next one bye now